Tavernier, but only to the bench after nine games out. The only alteration from last weekend. John Kennedy was over the fitness of James Forrest, and after missing so much of the season, he hasn't made the seat around the globe. And it's always a special day when these two meet Rangers against Celtic. And Patterson and the youngster progressing well here, all the way to the byline. Brown gets a touch, a spell in possession, a space for Kenny trying to bend that one round. Barisic, space though. Brown looks long over the top. Edward, one of the chasers, but it comes. It's a rebo, a rebo. Yes, it's deflected and in. And Stephen Davis has the opening goal in this Scottish Cup tie. An acrobatic effort, advantage played, and Stephen Davis, an unlikely goal scorer, gets the opener. Well, the first thing I've got to say: tremendous referee Bobby Madden letting the play go. Because I think the obvious thing to do would have been stop play and perhaps book Welsh. But he didn't allow he allowed play to continue, and he deserves enormous credit for that. But the acrobatic finish is ab, it's top class. Arivo comes in, we've seen him do it before on his left foot. The shot gets deflected up into there. Oh, that's that's almost centre forward like. Patterson helps it forward to Arfield. Morelos back looking for Scott Arfield. It will be a Rangers corner kick, which Christopher Iyer protests. He wants to go by Christy at all. And he's going to have to. And it comes from Turnbull. Oh, no. Borna Barisic to swing it in front. Can Celtic find a response? It's McGregor, and it's not the Turnbull turning away and finding Edward. Just breaks away from the Frenchman. And we spoke about Ryan Kent's turn earlier on in the game. This is the Anusi. Long way round, gets the return from Turnbull. Forward. Turnbull nicely held up for Callum McGregor, who smashes it high over the top, but it did take a touch on its way through and set. Header down for Turnbull. Odson Edward again, looking for a fraction of space to work his magic. Gets the shot on target, but it's straight at Alan McGregor. And for the first time, the veteran forward play from McGregor. Turnbull with the corner kick. El Yanusi on the volley. El Yanusi weaving through. So too Christie. And he just drags it wide. And that's a reasonable effort, but I'm thinking Edward probably maintain interest in this one and a chance to bend one towards Welsh. Now Ayer. And Helander sends it clear. How's he missed? Can't believe he's missed that. What did he hit it with? Now hit from range by Christie, it's deflected. It's Kenny who's encouraged on by Christie. John Joe Kenny with the low. Turnbull to take again. Rangers feeling the pressure. Oh, lovely. Well, the passes have been precise, and now Davis picks out Arfield. It's Turnbull and El Yanusi. Now Odson Edward. El Yanusi turns and has a look at Bobby Madden. Academical pre lockdown. Here goes Patterson. Progress again from the youngster. Well, he looks really up for the fight here. That was excellent. That really ball ready for this corner to be taken. Turnbull delivers up goes Rangers. Kamara Christie goes past Laxalt. Can he pick out a teammate? Rangers have their second. 2 0 Rangers. Ryan Kent in the middle of the goal. And Rangers just want this feeling to last forever. They've got a cushion against their rivals. Not content with the league title. Rangers are reveling in this. It's sensational from Arrival. It really is. He turns Lax inside out here, he goes one way, comes back on, just when you think he's going to cross it. The secret is, he takes the extra touch. I'm going to show you when, he goes to cross it there, that's is the bit that creates the space. Brilliant. Celtic must score the next goal to have any chance. Venture forward. 
to provide a target for David Turnbull. Oh goes all the way over, misses everyone, and skips out for a goal kick. And Kenny's ball forward, does find Hudson Edward. Back to goal desperately. Elian Nusi joining the attack. Turnbull, if he can pick the right pass. Elian Nusi did well to hang on to it, although illegally. Handball says Bobby Madden. Again, to come back from a position of real trouble. And here goes Turnbull. And instantly, 15 seconds into the second half, Alan McGregor is called into action. And space now collects it. He's got Kamara motoring down the outside. Aribo goes it alone. And Decent save. Turnbull now to take the corner. It's Patterson who can launch it clear. And Christie does pick up. Edward chasing McGregor again. And still the prospect of Yanis Hadji on the bench as well for Rangers. Kimar Roof. And Bain coming under pressure from Aribo. Behind the Rangers defence, he squares it for Elia Nusi. Well, surely that had to be the goal, it might be yet. Alan McGregor comes up trumps once again. How many times have we said that this season for Rangers? That Celtic squander that against Mohamed El Yanoussi. He's passed to Lander, he takes on Goldson, it's El Yanoussi and Edward, and it's over the top. And that just about sums it up for Celtic. Certainly the opening 56 minutes. No, he cannot miss that. Oh, that's huge. Good run from El Yanoussi. Picks out Scott Arfield, Morelos with the 1 2. Arfield, and across comes Stephen Welsh. He was fouled in the process. That was slick. Kamara. Kent. It's another wonderful turn. Kent. And now Morelos. And this time it's Bain who comes up to make the saves. Brilliant from Kent. Really is brilliant. Wonderful. One. Greg Taylor again gets the cross in this time to Odson Edward. Out it goes for the corner. Yeah, gets in. Celtic desperately needs something here. It's Odson Edward, it's into the wall, and there's a penalty given. Down goes Lee Griffiths, the deflection looked to be heading into his path, and Celtic have a lifeline here. Odson Edward, and it's saved by Alan McGregor. Alan McGregor, the hero once again for Rangers. That compounds Celtic's misery. It is going to be Rangers Day, surely now. Well, that sums up 